video we will learn the detail numbers and the calculation of length on the pipe drawing and the correct reading of the pipe drawing. This is the pipe isometry. This is the sketch showing the directions. And this is the list of materials for fabrication. Let's study the materials in this pipe isometric. Let's look at detail number 1. Item number 1, the quantity is 0 0.9 meters, 8 inch pipe SMLS schedule 20. Carbon steel, A106. Let's look at detail number 2. Item number 2, the quantity is 1 piece, 8 inches flange, weld neck 150 classes, raised face, schedule 20, carbon steel. Let's look at detail number 3. Item number 3, 2 pieces, 8 inches elbow, 90 degree, short radius, carbon steel, schedule 20. Let's try to read the pipe isometry correctly. There are 3 turns in the pipe drawing. These are 13.8 degrees vertical, 12.8 degrees horizontal, 45 degrees vertical turns. We will start reading the pipe drawing from this point. We move up along the dashed line, then we move to the east along the dashed line. From this traveling to the south, then turns 12.8 degrees horizontally to the east, then along the dashed line, travels to up. After this point the pipe goes to the east. Let's calculate this dimension, which is indicated by the red line in the pipe drawing, that is, we will calculate the distance from the center of the elbow to the center of the elbow, this line is a diagonal of a parallelopiped. There are two triangles here, one marked with a red line and the other with a blue line, here is the hypotenuse of the blue triangle, is the cathedus of the red triangle. We need to find the hypotenuse of the red triangle. Let's first find the hypotenuse of the triangle. This side of the blue triangle is equal to the side of the parallelopiped. The length of the side of the parallelopiped is 995, then the base of the blue triangle will also be 995. Using the Pythagorean theorem, add the square of 220 to the square of 995 to find the length of the hypotenuse of the blue triangle. We calculate and find that the length of the hypotenuse of the blue triangle will be 1019. And at the same time, 1019 is the cathedus of the red triangle. The length of one side of the red triangle is 1019 and the length of the other side is 250. Using the Pythagorean theorem, the length of the hypotenuse of the red triangle can be calculated. The square of the hypotenuse of the red triangle will be equal to the sum of the square of 250 and the square of 1019. We calculate and find that the length of the hypotenuse of the red triangle will be 1049 and at the same time this measurement is the distance from the center of the elbow to the center of the elbow that we were required to find. You can also calculate any dimensions on pipe drawings by applying this rule. The video is over here, write us your thoughts about the video in the comments section. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.